All right, let's do this again. Auto to run it from the switch in the garage or the controller. Off means off, everything's off. Hand, turn it over, that's manually turned on. If you didn't want to turn it off, you have to put it off or to auto. And that's it. As you can see, having manually do it is not necessarily the most ideal way of turning water on. I do have this uh, Toro Evolution um, controller, which works okay, but uh, it is cloud-based. So sometimes the cloud rains, other times it does not. So sometimes it works, other times it doesn't. So it, it does work from a scheduling perspective, though I cannot complain about that. So what you have here, or what's been done, is that this is the relay that turns the pump on. And then it is now connected to this relay that's connected to an ESP8266 or an ESP01. Uh, that's the package it comes in. It is wirelessly connected to the local Wi-Fi, which is then connected on a cellular connection. Mm. And as you can tell also, this is somewhat of a hack because this wire here is a wire tie, uh, but it works. Okay, as you can see, we're now at the Agwell. So I have pulled up the site which links to, and this is not visible on the device, but whatever, and click here to start the well. There she blows. So now water is being pumped throughout the entire orchard. And I could simply wait for the well to run for 30 minutes, which the timer was set to. Or, I can choose to turn it off. And that's all there is to it. 